Well, today has been a tough day to be a Warriors fan. Jonathan Kuminga has lost all faith in Steve Kerr. New article came out, uh, sources from inside Kuminga's camp uh, talked about him just not understanding what Steve Kerr wants from him. Essentially doing everything he you know, is asked to do and still not getting rewarded for it. Uh, and getting out of the game while playing actually, you know, doing everything they want from him, and it can get confusing for him. And last night against Denver, prime example, he played 19 minutes, 16-4-4, and I talked about it, had a really great game all around, was just doing everything you want to see from him, and he did not see the floor after the six minute mark in the third quarter there was a blown switch or i don't know some bad defensive assignment but uh with him and staff involved and he got benched after that but i also felt like uh that was more on staff but that was a little earlier i'm a little confused i'm sorry but because i'm really pissed man i'm really angry this just after the championship you know when we all thought this would be a free ride and it would just be even a lot more fun, right? Because the chips of the show, the chips have been taken off the shoulders. We got the fourth championship. We got another championship again, you know, without KD. Uh, Steph got his finals MVP. And we all thought it would be just fun free, right? And instead it's been everything but that. Draymond first punched somebody. We allowed that to happen. We did not hold him accountable. <laughs> 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 and everything since has just been fucking awful man it has just been atrocious awful disgraceful however you want to call it and it starts with that shit man it starts with not holding draymond green accountable for his actions it starts with that there's no doubt about it with say what you want about jordan Poole as a person as a player and anything if you're on that team and you're a younger guy and friends with jordan Poole, which i assume you know kuminga was uh andrew wiggins was Moses Moody was. And do you see him get shipped out after he got punched? And, you know, the guy that punched him essentially have every ounce of power he had before. Well, except for the respect that he needs to have that power. But um, this goes not only on the organization, this goes on Steph, on Steve Kerr, because Steph has to be involved in this, right? Steph has to be a part of it. And uh as much as i love stuff i feel like they've done everything wrong since the championship man whether it's in the off season it's you know with the two two timeline thing not trading those guys since you weren't going to develop them or weren't willing to trust them to develop them then uh in spite of all i'm saying right uh coming breaks out to the starting lineup and plays as you want him to plays great he has been playing really great since becoming a starter. That is, you know, you can, uh, then, you know, argue with anything else. But Kuminga as a starter this season has averaged. Let me pull that up for you. 15 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists on 57% shooting from the field. Like, what more do you want from him, really? Like, really? It, 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 it's just nasty, man. And and it's in 25 minutes. Last night he played 19. He does not close out games because of politics. Not being able to play Wiggins and Kuminga together. Chris Paul having to close out. And that goes to all the guys. That goes to Steph, who just doesn't trust the young guys, I guess. But he does not trust Chris Paul, apparently, which we saw today when he did not pass the ball to him and tried an insane pass. Uh throw through a double team to the corner from one side to another right so it's just been a fucking mess it's just been a soap opera golden state warriors a soap opera starring draymond green steph curry clay thompson and everyone else we've had draymond sponge clay's ego quote unquote steve Kerr and the young guys and now this Moody also has been, you know, displayed his displeasure with not getting play time. So, yeah, honestly, I would be so happy for the guys if they just got traded and balled out. 
it would be a huge fuck you to Steve Kerr and to everyone in this situation. But I would much rather get rid of Steve Kerr at this point. I would much rather get rid of Draymond at this point. Even, I'm not sure if Clay, because I like Clay too much. But Wiggins, I would much rather get rid of Wiggins than Moody and Kuminga. Like, you know, it's just, it's just fucking awful. And it, it's understandable that they were not playing when we were actually winning. And we are actually competing. But we are not winning with the veterans blowing a lot of leads. With the veterans not closing games out. And the young guys doing everything that's asked for them. And they still get no, don't get rewarded for it. Last night was the prime example once again. Steve Kerr benched Kuminga, who did everything right and did not go back to him at all in that game. While Mike, Mike Malone did not close with Michael Porter Jr., who did not have a good game. Peyton Watson was having a good game. And guess what? Peyton Watson closed out the game with a nasty dunk in the fourth quarter. Had the biggest three of the night, which Steve Kerr said it was. And played sensational defense on Steph Curry. And that is the difference, right? And now you have Kuminga just saying, hey, this was the last throw, man. The coach just does not want me to win. And hey, you won with the two-way timeline, right? Quote-unquote won with it because I would say despite it more so because they were not playing. And hey, he's a seventh pick in the draft. They are should be getting paid. A huge check this season. And Kuminga showcased a lot of ability when he got the chance to do so. And he simply has not gotten enough opportunities. And I'm not saying if there was a Wiggins that's been playing awesome at an all-star level, defending his ass off, averaging 20 points. I'm not saying if Draymond was, you know, not suspended for a lot of the time, playing awesome. Clay playing awesome. Looney playing awesome. Steph, Chris Paul playing awesome. They've not. They have not been playing awesome, and Kuminga, to me, has been our second best player throughout the stretch without Draymond. You might say that's to our determined, but it's been the truth, and it fucking sucks. It just fucking sucks. And now we're probably going to lose uh, some of our future for a Siakam or somebody at the deadline. We're going to go out early in the first round and continue this charade for the next few years until we inevitably just flame out and do nothing. It really feels that way, right? It really feels like they completely butchered everything since that championship. Whether it's with the young guys who, after the championship, could have gotten all the leeway. But last year, instead of Moody and Kuminga getting more minutes, you had fucking Anthony Lamp and Ty Jerome playing. Because of a win-now situation. I'm so fucking pissed, it's inexplainable, man. I haven't felt this angry and pissed in a long fucking time. And I was really pissed about the game. But this pisses, pisses me off more, man. I, I've grown to really like Kuminga. You can, you know, argue about his attitude and his stuff and shit. I understand if you don't like it, that's, you know, we're all different persons. But I've grown to really like his confidence. I've grown to like him as a person from what I've seen. And I've grown to like what he... You know, how he likes basketball, how he really works towards basketball, especially those stories that were coming out when he was entering the draft that he does not have the work ethic, that he does not love basketball and stuff when he literally left home for basketball. So, no. Uh, and then with Moody, right? Draymond, Steph, Clay, everyone's talking about how Moody is the ultimate pro and ultimate everything and a great player and everything and he should be getting more minutes, but he is not getting more minutes. Like... This shit feels broken, man. And it's breaking me also. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. Is there anything else to say? I'm not sure. Let me just quickly recap. So, Kuminga was drafted in the... What is it? 2020 draft? 2021 draft now? 2021 draft? They won a championship his first year there. Then, after the championship, Draymond Green punched Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole was one of the better Kuminga's friends. And, hey, they did not punish Draymond. They essentially did not hold him accountable. Essentially rewarded his actions that were horrible. Then, he was, you know, not playing for an Anthony Lamp and stuff. <laughs> and not getting playing time with Wiggins injured in the playoffs. And he was pissed. But, hey, we were quote-unquote winning, so it was much easier to take it. With Steph's speech and stuff, and Steph carrying, blah, blah, blah. And now this year, 
he literally was supposed to be out of rotation until he forced himself back into it. And that tells me that the coaching staff has no reason, not, not a clue, man. Not a clue. And, and then he forced himself back into it, but we had all the Draymond fiasco, we had Clay playing horrible and through his ego a lot of the time, shooting horrible shots, not playing defense that well also. And you see him and Draymond get rewarded for their bad behavior and coming us out there trying to do everything for himself to be the Scotty Pippen, the Sean Murray, Mary, and that Steve Kerr really wanted him to be. And he gets rewarded by getting benched against Denver, the best, you know, the champions, where he was goddamn playing well, hooping, abusing Jamal Murray in the post, attacking the paint, passing the ball really well, playmaking for others. And he gets benched for other players that have not been playing as well as him throughout that game. I understand that they built the lead, but Kuminga was the second best player in that game yesterday for us. And maybe even the best player with how Steph, uh, you know, was a little off in the first and fourth quarter. Really. I'm not joking here. Honestly, maybe that's the anger out of me. And he gets rewarded by sitting on the bench watching those old ass fucking idiots that have to play i'm sorry for calling them idiots they're not idiots they're i love them i love clay i love steph and i love i love all of those guys but you're watching them play chris paul over him you're watching steph be out there doing bullshit right taking stupid shots doing bullshit uh, <clears throat> and it gets rewarded man Whew. this was a rough one um we play detroit tonight <laughs> And my voice is gone. Uh, I'm sorry for such a negative video, but I had to get it out there for my own sanity, man. I'm, I'm really angry. I'm going to go watch Psych season three. I'm on the season finale, so hopefully it's awesome. And yeah, do some yoga, man. Be kind to yourself and to others as always. Love yourselves as much as possible. Um, fire Steve Kerr.